So, let's test Lightning Conduit with our group found gear. It is still the same gear, basically, as the last video. Um, yeah. Let's see if we can actually deal with Cyrus, Cyrus, however. Uh, dialogue up. Give it music. Did you really think this would That's work? Cyrus, please, we want to help you. There we go. Don't that should be okay. Destroying right. you is as easy as flicking a pest. No, Shut up! Still Relax. too loud. That should be How fine. Boring and small. But we really need to hear what he's uh, what calling out, happens? right? So. Take it. It's yours. I'm nervous. Boring. I'm nervous. It's been a while since I fought I this guy, right? Um. Perhaps the suffering of my. But I think Lightning like, Conduit should be able to deal with this. Some. Even if the gear is not that ready. Um, but we are level 91, uh, which is important because that allows us to get the mastery for spell suppression. Now, I'm still not suppression capped, sadly. I'm sitting on 52%. Uh, but still, that's 50% of the time we take 50% of the damage, right? So it's better than nothing. It is suboptimal. And it seems a bit laggy, which is not good. That is not what I would like to see, actually. Uh, now we have exposure on him. We are sh shocking for 64, sometimes even 65%, which is what we would like to see. So let's keep an eye out. Yeah, 64% is pretty much where we are at. Let's not get hit by that. Okay. Okay, that was the very easy phase, right? Oh, don't do it! Don't do it! No! Every single time she does that. Oh no. That's so sad. Oh god. That's uh, suboptimal. I think we did get the exposure off. It's sometimes hard to tell with using a trigger wand uh, if you got it, but I think we're fine. Dude, damage is honestly fine. That's okay. I am definitely okay with that. If you think about where we are at progression wise with our gear, like. Dude! With that, like, low amount of gear, 5k health. <laughs> so far, so good. Now, the real test will be uh, the last phase, of course, but oh god. Well, let's just heal up. Better safe than sorry. Hey, that should get exposure on. We are a little bit slow for that uh, maze, but that's okay. I still didn't upgrade my boots, so we are kind of low amounts of movement speed. Whoa, that almost killed me. Die. That was close. That was way, way too close. I'm glad we made it out of that. Somehow. Yeah, the, the three stage meteor is gonna be uh, extremely scary. Can we, where can we even go at this point? Are we safe over here? Kind of. That's very scary. Okay. That's not good. I'm taking damage. I did not exactly know from where, though. Uh, that was clear. But kind of a bad spot right now. Let's try to circle around. I think 
this should work, right? I might just die here. When I'm ready, I'm not this is bad. This is really, really bad right now. He doesn't seem to want to go out of that storm, so... That is a little bit concerning. Oh, we are getting closer now. That should fix it. Although he is... What the... What did damage me there? Oh, I was too, too close to the storm, was I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was so confused for a second there. <laughs> it's clear now, though. It's clear now. Yeah. 64% of shock. Uh, which is still... That is a very decent amount. Because... Our um, max shock... Is actually at 65%, right? So... We are quite close to our maximum value that you can get. I just... I had to use the Quicksilver Flask there. I was not sure if I would make it otherwise. Get some damage in. I did not... I did not spot where he went. Oh, there he is. Oh, there was no tidy. Follow up? Okay, there it is. I was like, huh? <laughs> I expected a die beam. And we should have exposure on as well. Can we even do this with the movement speed we have? We should be able to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although it's really, really close and uncomfortable. Oh, hi. Ooh. I'm... In the thing, that's not good. Let's dodge that. Ugh. Oh, ow! I, I, yep, that's my bad. I stood too, um, too close. So I don't have movement speed. This could be a one shot. We made it somehow. Let's uh, go here. There is a die beam that I was expecting beforehand. Oh, he is over here. Okay, let's get more damage in. Damage, 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 damage. We need to deal damage. And we need to deal it fast. Oh, God. That was a bit too close for my liking again. For lasting fire again. Ah! That was not the attack I was expecting. Not gonna lie. You will long for that thing... That caught me off guard quite heavily. <laughs> okay. This is a good opportunity to get damage in now. I shouldn't tank. Oh, you should not tank hits like that, actually. That is... Oh! I was expecting another die beam there, which is why I moved uh, the way I moved. We either dodged that or blocked that. That was... I was quite lucky, not gonna lie. Oh, that's a die beam. Let's not get hit. And there is the favorite map slot. And there is an Awakener orb. And it was deathless. Holy smokes, my dudes. That was great. That, that felt actually good. That felt actually good. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I did hit the record on that. That was my first attempt on Cyrus uh, this leak. Let's let the boys know in the guild. 
And uh, yeah, let's have a quick look. We have a red buff hope with a very large. I think, I think very large is good for what I'm planning. Awesome. We have a redeemer ring. Uh, what else did we get? We have the. Oh wait, I might have to. That on the side. Yes, yes, yes. And there is the the spell crit base. It's level eighty six. <gasps> oh my god, we might we might we might transition into a spell crit build at some point. Oh my god. Um yeah, that's the base that we would need to craft for that. Um okay, the rest of the influence gear can stay here. What is this? Okay. Okay, and yeah, we do have uh an awakener orb now. Sweet. Cool, cool stuff. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm struggling on the ichors and embers, but that is mainly because uh, my atlas tree is not specced into uh, altars and such things, because I'm still going after betrayal, I'm still going after strong boxes, I'm still going after harvest as well as a little bit of uh, delirium. And um, these four nodes are incredible for me. Um, because yeah, 30% increased chance to drop a Conqueror map. This is what I pursue in the beginning. Uh, I will spec out of this at some point and go towards the um, these nodes over here to get some Shaper and Elder Guardians down. Um, but Cyrus is always like a really good check for me, uh, how I feel about the damage. Because yeah, in Path of Building, you know, I know I have like a roughly over one mil DPS. Uh, with conversions, it's roughly 1.5 mil. I know that, um, but it, it always, it's hard to translate that into gameplay, right? Unless you fight like a boss that you know very well. Um, and uh, yeah, so we did actually fight Katarina a couple more times, uh, two more times. So we have uh, now an item level 85 Cinder Swallow because yes, I fought the hardest version of her. And we also did get another drop, which uh, I had, did not have on the radar, which was the Queen's Hunger, right? Uh, I unveiled, and we now have um, a percent increase max life, 23 life, 8% cast speed, strength and dex on there, small max life on there. Um, that's okay, right? That is okay. Uh, I, I never used this one. I don't think I've ever had this in my inventory, so yeah. Uh, one of my friends is going for a summoner build, and if he can use this, uh, I have it on the side for him, obviously. Um, we did drip a, tr a drip? <laughs> we did drop a gold rim. Uh, we have Thrill Steel, one of the new leveling helmets, which uh, just gives you Onslaught. And I think that can be a very cool thing to level a new character, right? Uh, we have an Alpha's Howl. So we did get a couple of drops. We have uh, Dodri Stamning dropped quite some times. Loop of all, we have two of those. Uh, we have a mark of submission, which can be used. Um, and we have Valerium. I never had this on my radar, but yeah, for a CI build or like a, a hybrid build with lots of AES uh, or a low life build, I should say, this could be quite fun. Saves you a skill point or two. Um, yeah, other than that, we are, um, where are the staffs? We have two Agnorots right now, which is cool. Um, but that pretty much sums up all the cool drops. Uh, Lionized Paws we have, uh, which is cool. And uh, yeah, that's right. We did get some uh, some cool Stygian Wises. So let's talk about that real quick. I have an item level 86 Stygian Wise now that I need to craft up, which is very cool. I have a 83 Hubris Circlet, which is nice. And I do have actually an item level 86 Valrigalia, which uh, I might play around with a little bit. Uh, these two gear pieces will be upgrades for me personally. Uh, those boots are level 85 instead of 76, so that's cool. And we do have a armor evasion base uh, pig-faced bassinet here um, that has a tier one life roll with a tier one uh, life hybrid roll uh, and another tier one uh, armor evasion stun block recovery and dex. So, man, this this helmet looks really really good. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Obviously, yes, our uh, six link is a waxed garb instead of a sadist garb at the moment, but that's a okay. Um, I'm fine with that. 
for now. Um, yeah, so I, I do feel pretty comfy right now with the, the gear as it is. Yes, there's a lot of upgrade upgrades to be had, but also uh, let's post this in the guild as well. If somebody needs that, um, I might use this in uh, this build. We also did drop a crit strike, multi crit strike chance with elemental skills and increased damage with one's jewel, which is quite nice. Uh, we could actually throw an X on that if we wanted to. And yeah, we now have two divine orbs. Um, one of those was a natural drop, and the other one came from an, uh, an expedition logbook that I've done. Also, we fully automated our flasks, uh, just used when charges reach full, right? That's the way I like to use it, so I only have to press my life flask. Yeah, now I don't have any trouble with my hands, uh, which is good. Although my mouse hand, which is usually the one that has uh, more problems with RSI, uh, yeah, I need to be careful with that one a little bit. Uh, I noticed that I need to be uh, a little bit more careful. But that's okay, right? That's okay. Uh, it just means um, I will not play too, too much. Uh, I always go very hard on League Start. I did it again. Uh, if you take a look at slash plate, this is like, yeah. This is a lot, right? This is a lot. <laughs> But uh, yeah, from now on, we will slow down. Um, I have two builds, actually three builds, uh, in my head that I would like to do. And I will um, farm Cyrus a little bit more because I want his helmet, um, because I want the possibility to go into mind over matter at some point with maybe one particular build. I really have to see, but... Yeah, for today, I just wanted to share the fight against Cyrus um, and just how with self-found gear, uh, you can do this. Um, this. The skill is really just lightning content is insane. And this is even a level 19 <laughs> gem. <laughs> uh, it's not even level 20, right? So yeah, it is 20 because we have plus one on the wand, right? Um, so yeah. My level 20 gem at the moment is over here. Uh, it's already um, level 19 again, which is nice, uh, but with 20% quality, and that just gives you 20% uh, increased damage, right? So that's very cool. So soon we will be able to switch that out. Actually, we could, you know what? I should have done this before. We will just switch it out. Oh, but no, 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 no. Get conductivity back in. Uh, take level 19 conduct. Yeah, lightning conduit. Put it over here. Level this one. We will reset that one as well. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, very happy. Very, very happy with lightning conduit. Not gonna lie. Um, it's now time since they were a couple of patches um, that I will be doing the leak mechanic again um, just to see how rewarding it is right now. Um, and I'm really hoping that uh, I get a uh, Katarina helmet to drop soon. Um, I've done like I'm ready and not out. A three Katarina fights, and I don't know how many safe houses are right now. It's crazy. We really ran a lot of safe houses. Also, oh god, I just went into the fight again. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, some of the other guys from our guild and friends group uh, actually had like a couple of safe houses as well, uh, which is really amazing. That allowed us to hit 91. It allowed my friend to hit 93. Uh, everybody else is closing in on 90, I think. Um, yeah, our Righteous Fire Inquisitor guy hit level 90 as well, which is cool. Um, the other guys we can't see right now, but that's okay. Um, so that went well. Um, yeah, we, we might have to whisper this particular guy. <laughs> Just the Awakener's Orb. As well as this one. And this one, I, I we have the 7% increased life mod on it, which is the Hunter's Prefix. That's also cool. Um, but yeah, we, not, we might uh, link this to someone very special. Uh, in our friend group who exactly knows what this one means for me uh, or for him. Depends who of us 
actually decides to go for a spell crit build. <laughs> At the moment, we are both playing non-crit builds, so yeah, we will see, we will see. But I don't want to ramble on longer. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, take care. Bye.